Hi there, welcome everybody back to episode 4 of Nerf Hunt for Pascal. The driver performance review series that I'm running to check basically if the drivers currently released by NVIDIA for any game ready performance increases actually negatively impact existing games or not. So before we go into the benchmarks, uh, just a quick update. I had decided to drop Sniper Elite 4 from the benchmark suite. It is a painful process. It was not worth it for me anymore. I just decided to hell with it. It's not worth it. So, what I did do is I've replaced it with a couple, two new benchmarks for newer games. So, tracking some newer titles also, which would include Destiny 2. Yes. I found a way to actually benchmark Destiny 2 using OCAT, which uses PresentMon in the background to record frame rates and stuff. So that's quite nice. And then also using that for Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. So two new games that recently came out will now be joining the benchmark suite. I've been able to do a quick run on 388.0 before upgrading to this new driver, which is 388.13, the latest driver for, which one, basically Call of Duty World War II, also for Wolfenstein to address an issue that they didn't, they picked up with the hotfix driver, which was 388.1. So yeah, and then a couple of other uh, titles, which would all be linked down below in the description so has the performance been incre uh, increased or decreased for existing titles let's have a look at the benchmark looking first at fire strike extreme we see that the performance is roughly exactly almost exactly the same as previously slightly down but with <laughs> less than one percent so really nothing to be to at home about it's still seven, uh, three, almost 3% three down on my best score, but still, yes, within margin of error. Therefore, not really an issue. Time Spy. Time Spy Async Off. Slow, saw a slight increase in performance, less than 1%, and is still roughly almost 1% down to my best score, which, again, as you know, if it's not more than 3%, I don't really bother with it to say, okay, this is this is something that's of concern. We look at the async on performance that slightly went down by two points or less than 1% decrease in performance. And as such also is 99% more well, basically less than 1% down on the best score. If we look at heaven, Heaven saw a slight increase in performance and is also less than 1% down on the best score. So, again, nothing to worry about. Valley has seen like less than 1% decrease in performance, but compared to the best score I have, it is 4% down almost. So, the Valley in some way is slightly down. I'm it's concerning me that value went down, but this is one title. So in the bigger scheme of things, I'm not so concerned in total, but it is weird that one title would go down consistently. I don't know if it's a specific uh, optimization issue, but we will have to keep our eyes on this one going forward. Coming to superposition, the DX11 performance went minuscule up, literally less than 1% and also it's still about 2% down on my best score while the open gel also went up slightly also less than 1% and is almost less than 1% down on the best score that I have so open gel performance is roughly the same now to the first of our new benchmarks Wolfenstein the new Colossus now, if we cons uh, consider the performance versus the previous one, the Vulcan performance seems to be up, going up quite constantly with each driver release. Vulcan seems to be a focus point now for NVIDIA. So, if we look at this, we've got a basically a 1% increase in performance. 
definitely not within margin of error, but still, I like like it. So the in the slight increases just makes my heart happy. Destiny 2, on the other hand, I don't know if this is a performance issue with the latest uh, um, uh, patch that was released a couple of days ago. Um, if I compare to the previous run, which was in 388.0, it's down nearly 2% in performance. Although still within margin of error, I would not say this is quite so warming to the heart. So yes, I will definitely keep my eye on this one. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. We had exactly the same performance as the previous driver, but still it's almost 3% down in performance. So still within margin of error, but it is slightly worrying. I will keep my eyes on this one. So hopefully it doesn't go bad. Days X Mankind Divided. Both the DX11 and DX12 performances actually went up minusculely. And as such, the DX11 performance is still about 2% down on my best score. And while the DX12 performance is roughly almost 3% down on the best performance. All still within margin of error. It's all still fine. Do not worry too much about it. Although I would keep my eyes on the DX12 performance. Doom! OpenGL went slightly down, roughly 1%, and is as such still 10% down on the best score I have, which is not very. I don't know what's going on with the OpenGL performance. OpenGL goes down, but as you can see, Vulcan still goes up slightly. It is now less than 1% up and still is. It has basically achieved my best score yet. So, Vulcan seems to be increasing quite well, going with each driver increase. Now, if we look at the overall performance, uh, compared to the previous driver, it is roughly 0.1% down performance. Well, overall, it is a little bit more than 2% down in overall performance to my best scores. So, yes, the driver is stable-ish, but it, it is a slight worrying thing that it's decreasing with each driver in Renisa it's a slight decrease in performance. I don't know what it is. Uh, NVIDIA, I really hope you sort this shit out because I see your, your basically your backlog on issues getting less. Is that because you're trying to uh, to nerf everything and so it actually looks all fine and dandy? Or is it just you can't be bothered? I think the the open gel in the X11 performance, I think you can't be bothered. But anyway, I digress. If we look at the overall increase or decrease per API, the X11 was stable compar comparatively. The X12 also stable comparatively. Open gel, stable comparatively. Vulcan, stable comparatively. So basically, Compared to the previous jar, it's exactly the same. So, I would have liked to increase, uh, include um, Call of Duty World War II in the benchmarks, but uh, trying to rerun, getting a nice section set up so I can rerun it every time is a little bit difficult. So, I'm not in the mood for restarting a campaign every bloody time I do a benchmark. So. I'll just skip that one for now. So, overall, performance is stable. There is a long-term degradation that I'm seeing, but still, everything is within margin of error, so it could be just basically anomalies in the testing. It's not nothing major, except for the one thing that is um, the OpenGL performance on Doom, which is roughly 10% down, which is weird. Don't like it. Really don't like it at all. But what can you do? Uh, we'll have to just keep eyes on it and hopefully, maybe it's just the performance is not is being focused solely on Vulcan the way they, that they don't give a damn for OpenGL anymore. Well, I wouldn't really. OpenGL is old. 
it's really old. We should actually leave OpenGL out of everything. But just focus on either DX12 and Vulkan. Vulkan gets my vote out of the two anyway. But yes, I digress. So if you want to get new jobs for the new application for the new games that came out, by all means get them. It's still fine. You won't get a nerfing in performance or any significant or real nerfing in performance. Overall, if you still have, say, the Java 385.41, I'd stick with that one. Or any earlier driver that was better for you if you had one, since I only started at 385.41. For me, I would still consider 385.41 my golden driver. Overall, 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 it is just fine. There's no nothing, really. Can't say it with, put my hand on the Bible and say, it's being nerfed but yes i will keep my eyes on it i will keep uh, you all informed as best i can and as soon as possible as i can oh, this is unfortunately just a hobby for me so oh, i can't really spend my whole life just focus on this but yes i do do try and keep this this is my main uh, source of content so for now Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you would like to like, click the like button, please do. If you don't like this video, please click the, the dislike button. But please also just give us some feedback. I can only improve if I know what to work on. Otherwise, if you do feel like you want to subscribe, please click the subscribe button. If you want to basically become a supporter of this channel, one would think of becoming a patron. I know everybody asks, and everybody is like to say, YouTube doesn't pay us jack, literally. Um, Ad, AdSense is pathetic, and this new new algorithm they brought out for basically making sure which videos can be ad friendly is pathetic. It or most content providers now suffer with some content not being adequate according to the algorithms so therefore we get it gets basically not monetized so if i want to actually focus more on this i'd need support i need to make sure that i've got the support to actually do this so support me supporting you that's all i can ask for anyway thank you very much for watching this is gideon i uh, hope you enjoy this see you next time Goodbye.